Perhaps I have enough knowledge to now understand the book. Mm-hmm, 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 right, right, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Aha, oh, twice in a row, then, mm-hmm, mm. Mm, that was educational. Goldsmithing, masonry, and a book about carpentry. Like all books in this library, it's a guest present. The logic behind this must be, those elves, they have so many beautiful statues and items of wood, they'll be really interested in this, why don't we present them with a book about it? What they don't realise though, is that if we're interested in a subject, then we'll already know pretty much all there is to know about the matter, and the book's of no use to us whatsoever. Goldsmithing, masonry, and a book about carpentry. Like all books in this library, it's a guest present. The logic behind this must be, those elves, they have so many beautiful statues and items of wood, they'll be really interested in this, why don't we present them with a book about it? What they don't realize though, is that if we're interested in a subject, then we'll already know pretty much all there is to know about the matter, and the book's of no use to us whatsoever. Working with wood. There's a master whittler down in the valley. I've enjoyed watching him in the past. He carves animal figures so real that humans and dwarfs believe that they are actually animals turned into wood. This one's more about interiors, making furniture and the like. Plane the wood down by a pixie's thumb and saw the board into two equal length pieces. Hmm, who knows what that might be good for. Hi. Well, what's up? We have a metis bush in the garden, but its fruit's red, not green. Those will be useless. Red metis fruits are sweet. We need the sour green ones. Thank you for your help. That's what I'm here for. It's said that a ruler in the north wanted to build himself a throne out of all the swords of conquered enemies. Unfortunately, he died after only conquering one enemy when he refused to heed all the warnings and sat on the throne. that a ruler in the north wanted to be unfortunately he died it's said that a ruler in unfortunately each cube is significant and comes from a different country but I never really paid much attention Why do so many people hate this flower? Perhaps it has an abhorrent smell. <coughs> now that explains why this flower is classified as a weapon in 24 countries.
There's only a little water left in the bird bath. Cheep Cheep always says that it evaporates quickly. I, however, think that the constant need to replenish the water is more down to his unbridled joyous splashing and not insignificant body mass. Mother pours water from various jugs into this bowl to cast a spell over the mirror. She did this almost daily in times gone by to ask the mirror who was the fairest elf in all the lands. Ever since the mirror started to hesitate with the answer a few months ago, she hasn't been using it quite so much. I convinced Mother not to have the hive removed, and she reluctantly agreed. However, should she be stung, then the hive's days are numbered. As long as this plant isn't doing well, Arbor won't rest. Not knowing what's wrong with it will eat away at him. Arbor's obviously concerned about his flower. This is a metis bush, just what I need. Only its fruit is red, not green. <gasps> if the bush had a heart, it would have skipped a few beats. Thanks. Hi, Arba. Oh, Ivo. Look, I found this book in the library. Woodcrafts? Why are you showing me that? I thought it might interest you. I don't like horror stories. Horror stories? Wood that has been clamped into a revolving monstrosity to be whittled down layer by layer to the core? What do you call that, then? Sorry, never looked at it like that. Branches sawed off, boards nailed together, wood treated with chemicals. Oh, sick stuff. About the potion... Art? There's something else. About the potion... Art? There's something else. See you later, Arba. See ya! Helmets with horns, cool, but useless. Perhaps I can help Arbor solve the problem with that flower. Let's take a look. Giant beans, also known as magic beans, are very rare. They are the fastest growing plant variety known. Because of the bean's high costs, they are almost exclusively used by the military, for instance, in storming high-walled castles. Hmm, 
This plant reminds me of the one that Arbor's having problems with at the moment. Love Lily. The love lily enters into an enduring relationship with another plant very early in its life, which frequently lasts its lifetime. If the partner plant dies, then the love lily does not normally survive the separation. Killer tomatoes are the most devious of the meat-eating plants. Disguised as tomatoes, they hunt on allotments for defenseless humans. Mandrake should only be cultivated by experienced gardeners. The cry of the baby mandrake can kill anyone within 20 metres instantaneously. Steel magnolias look like normal magnolias, but are some of the toughest plants on earth. They can be softened using tragic women's stories and subsequently may be picked. Guard plants, Vigilia audriensis, belong to the oldest domesticated plants of humankind. They have been especially valued in times of famine as they do not require as much food as, for instance, dogs. They can sometimes develop an unhealthy taste for blood. <laughs> Baritones. Steel magnolias look like normal magnolias, but are some of the toughest plants on earth. They can be softened using tragic women's stories and subsequently may be picked. The wood of intelligent apple trees is often used for the equally intelligent and beautifully shaped living accessories of all types. For a long time, botanists thought that it may be possible to find other intelligent fruit varieties. So far, the search has proved fruitless. Giant beans, also known as magic beans, are very rare. They are the fastest growing plant variety known. Because of the beans' high costs, they are almost exclusively used by the military, for instance, in storming high-walled castles. The door can be opened easily from the outside. If it was up to me, it would stay open. Hmm, this flower was given to us by the fairies, just like the love lily down in the garden. I bet they belong together. The plant book said that a love lily chooses another plant to be a kind of lifelong companion. Perhaps it isn't okay because it's on its own. Look, do you know this flower? You did well, girl. It would appear so. You snivelling girl? You all right? Um, no. Yes. I don't know. 
Well then, I think I've earned myself a little rest now. That's Arba's little spade. He always leaves his stuff all over the garden, which of course drives Mother mad. Isn't that just lovely? Two plants that have found each other and want to spend the rest of their lives together. You're having a good time, I see. What can I do for you? You shouldn't smoke. Mm hmm. Why not? It's not healthy. No lungs, no problems. Don't you think it's a bit weird and warped to smoke yourself? Yeah, I know. I'm terrible. <laughs> Don't tell no one, though. Do you sometimes miss your old life and the world out there? Ah, it's comfortable here, to be sure. And boring. Well, if you're bored, then why stay? Me? Well, I'm the princess. And Mother's scared that something might happen to me out there. And to be honest, she's probably right. Well, of course something could happen to you. And what's it called when things happen to you? Life. That's what it's called. You fall over, you get up, you laugh, you cry, you do daft things. Well, how can one enjoy the sunshine if it never rains? About the potion... Art. There's something else. I just need to borrow your spade a moment, is that OK? Of course. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. I have to get on. Don't work too hard. Arp, that I won't. The smoke from Arba's pipe seems to be calming the bees. This is my chance. Hey now, you all right there? Um, sorry, had to do it. Well, I'm not happy about this destruction of nature. Not unless I get half of that there, honey. I don't need any more. The rest is for you. Mm. Oh, that be good stuff. But that's enough. The bees need a bit too. I don't know what I could ask him right now. I don't know what I could ask him right now. Oh, that fruit smells really sour. Thanks for the sacrifice, little fish. About one spoon of honey. Water's the easiest ingredient to find. We have copious amounts of it here.
That should do it. The medicine book reckoned that it should be a viscous potion. Hmm. I'm pretty sure that there's never been anything so utterly revolting concocted in the elf burrow ever. Oh, I hope this is some kind of joke. The box as well as its hinges and lock has been fashioned from one piece of tree root. A masterful piece of workmanship, just like everything else here in the elf burrow. Hi. Well, what's up? The potion's ready, but you don't seriously expect me to drink it, do you? You must. Cheap, I'm so... Yes, I know, but... This, um, <clears throat> medicine. Well, I did tell you that I wasn't feeling well, and the medicine book here thinks it could be something serious. She has to drink it, the sour metas fruit, sweet honey and salty fish. That should give us an answer. looks revolting. It is medicine. It's not supposed to taste nice. That's right. Down to the last drop. Hmm. Not as bad as I was expecting. In actual fact, it's quite tasty. I could definitely drink another glass of that. Congratulations, Ivo. You are pregnant. No, 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 no. That is completely impossible. You must be wrong. Surely it's a misdiagnosis. You are an elf and say that potion is quite tasty. I could definitely drink another glass of that. That's raging hormones talking. I don't have any hormones. I... Cheap, no. No, the book has made a mistake. I cannot be pregnant. I've never stood in the divine water with Nate on Midsummer's Night singing the Song of Life. Why? How do humans do it? They do what? Elves and humans can have children together, but it's not possible without sex. You see? We never had sex. At least not to my knowledge. But the diagnosis is crystal clear. Let's just pretend that I am pregnant. There must be some explanation, rational or otherwise. If we discount the possibility that the child was conceived by natural means, which would certainly appear to be the case here, then that leaves us with just the unconventional conception methods. Did you, perhaps, make some kind of pact with a goblin regarding the child? Child in exchange for gold or a kingdom, for example? No. 
Has a god in the guise of a bull appeared to you in your dreams? Any angels been having a word with you? No. Have any stars fallen from the heavens recently? No, not that I'm aware of. Hmm. Then that just leaves magic or a curse. But unfortunately, that is not my area of expertise. I wish it was so cheap, but my feeling is that the book is right. I am pregnant. I'm not sure how, and I'm not sure why, but it would appear that I'm pregnant. And as all other possibilities have been eliminated, then it must be a curse that's responsible. That is fantastic. No, no, of course I didn't mean it like that. But just think, me, cursed. That sounds like an adventure. Totally obvious what we need to do now. We ask Archmage Alistair. He's the wisest magician in the realm of man, and he's a friend. He'll be able to tell us what it means. Oh no, you don't. You remember who was meant to be looking after me so that nothing happens to me, don't you? One thing's certain. Mother must never find out about this. I don't know either. Do you think that my tummy will start to show? Oh. Alistair's sure to have the answers. We'll have to track him down in the Mage Tower in Seastone. Only, how are we going to get there? Seastone is days away from here. Oh, yeah, saying fly is all well and good. Are you going to teach me quickly then? No, we need a fast mode of transport. And then there's the small matter of the border watch. Their longbows can take out a fly's eye at 400 metres. And they will shoot if said fly should dare to set foot in or leave the woodland realm without permission. You don't by any chance know the password that the border watch use? Uh, typical. That's exactly the problem. Mother chooses a new password every single day. And there's no way I'll get it out of her. Oh, why don't you know the password? You normally know everything. Hey, know-it-all. Mother's mirror. It knows more than you. It must know the password. If we work as a team, we should be able to cast a little light on the matter, Chi. After all, if it is a curse, then I'm the victim, not the perpetrator. Well, yes, I know that. She'll blame us whatever happens. But it's best for us to have some answers rather than just presenting her the facts, don't you think? Transport and the password. Let's go.